Yeah, there's this interesting dy dynamic, and I'm fascinated by this because most people that I know, like the stereotype anyways, of activists is that they aren't necessarily super deep. Yeah. I don't think that's earned, but because there is this focus on change out there, mm -hmm. and it almost seems like a luxury to engage in inner change. Yeah. Um, and then the stereotype of people who do a lot of spiritual formation and meditation is that they're kind of focused on themselves. So that's where you get the stereotype of like the really wealthy person who wears yoga pants and meditates a lot, but doesn't put their money where their mouth is, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like once you get into that prophetic mode, which doesn't, which holds both of those things in tension at the same time, it doesn't privilege them. It's a person walking into the posture of trying to be a transformation, an agent of change. And when you do that, you can start challenging problems you might be, have more of a capacity for engaging problems more artfully. But oftentimes, a lot of the issues that you faced before, you realize you just look at them differently. You realize some of the problems we have in the world aren't problems at all. Right. Um, and so that's kind of, I don't know if that's getting at your question, but it seems like a lot of, some things, it's hard to tell until you enter into kind of a, a posture of, more of a contemplative posture, which perceived problems are based on your perception or if it's an actual problem that you don't know how to resolve because you're not looking at it properly.